There's a shrine in Vietnam, the shrine of Our Lady of Lavang. It was built after Mother Mary appeared there in 1798. My husband and I visited that shrine sometime in 2017, and what we found out was totally amazing. Our faith in God was strengthened. In the late 18th century, many Vietnamese became Catholics, but they were persecuted by the king. Our Lady appeared to them many times during the Great Persecution. She showed them how to hide from their persecutors and how to use traditional ferns for their wounds, and they were saved. In 1820, a chapel was built at the apparition site. Then in 1820 to 1835, there was another wave of persecution. More than 100,000 Catholics were martyred. During that time, a fanatic destroyed the Our Lady of Lavang Chapel. In 1838, a French missionary Saint Pierre Bory was martyred. But the church grew. In 1901, a new chapel was built. In 1928, the Our Lady of Lavang Church was built. Thirty years later, in 1959, the Our Lady of Lavang Shrine was declared a national shrine. Two years later, in 1961, the church was declared a minor basilica at a Marian Congress by the Archbishop of Hue. Then came the U.S.-Vietnam War. In 1972, the church was destroyed. This is all that was left of the church. The pilgrimage center of Lavang is now the Marian center of the Vietnamese Catholic Church. Each year, millions of pilgrims come to pray at the shrine and basilica. Behind the shrine is a memorial wall with a huge mural, a tribute to 117 Vietnamese martyrs. The names of these martyrs are on the wall. They were those who were killed in the 18th and 19th centuries. The torture underwent by them were considered to be the worst in the history of Christian martyrdom. In 1988, Pope John Paul II canonized them. Ten years later, in 1998, he publicly recognized the importance of Our Lady of Lavang. He wanted to rebuild the Lavang Basilica to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the first Marian vision. But to this day, there is still no official recognition of this apparition. Our Lady of Lavang is the patroness of the Catholic Church of Vietnam. Some parishes celebrate her feast day on November 22nd.